I have been trying to do an angel two times already. Both times, the thing that I'm running into is that I want to paint myself white and then think that I can use white on top of white and I'm gonna have two different whites. It's an adventure. So of course, naturally, the only thing I can possibly start off by doing is painting myself white. The exact beginning process of what has failed me multiple times. After maybe being a little stressed out with my decision, here is where the varying factor comes in that I have not been doing previously. I am not going in with another white color. Instead, I'm going to outline the wings that are going around my body using a light gray eyeshadow. Originally, I was trying to avoid using grays, and I just wanted everything to be white. It made sense, but it also didn't make sense because I don't know how I was planning for it to stand out. I guess I was just planning on trying to do different variations of brightness of white. This is a better plan. I also erased some of the wings and made them a little more even. Continuing to use that same gray eyeshadow, I'm very carefully going in and shading in between the feathers just to separate them. I also thought these two feathers on my chest were a little too close, so I just separated them using the Made You Look Body Paint in the color Yeti. <music> using the exact same gray eyeshadow, I'm then going in and adding a fluffy texture to the feathers. I was a little nervous, actually I was, actually I was, <laughs> I was pretty nervous about this entire video really, but this particular section of making the feathers fluffy, I did not want the feathers to start to look gray. I wanted to make sure that the white feathers still looked white and this just looked like some separation, some shading, not that the wings were gray. I was very much enjoying where this was heading. I then went ahead and shaded the other wing using the exact same gray eyeshadow. I mean, really, at this point, when it's just this light, worse comes to worse, I go back in and add a little bit of white. It's not like I'm using very dark colors. Except now I'm going to start using darker colors, using a dark gray eyeshadow. I'm just a little, a little shading, little separation, a smidge bit, if you will. It turned out to be kind of a little more than a smidge bit, but this, this, the definition, it really did need to actually happen. Making the decision of starting to look like a sinful t-shirt, <laughs> I decided I should add a little bit more white. Now I've gotten this far. I love the wings, right? I don't know what I'm doing with my face. I try to wig on because I'm like, maybe it'll give me a direction of which kind of wig I want to use and then I can figure out and I'm like, ah. So what did I do? I painted my face white using the Made You Look body paint in the color Yeti. Yet again, starting from step one that has failed me so many times. But at the same time, I didn't have a choice. This was my vision, this was my direction, and I could not see it any other way. Why an angel has been so tricky for me, I could not tell you, other than I just very simply could not get my brain off of white. In my several failed attempts to create an angel, I also made my eyebrows white. Not a shock at this point. I decided to make them a light, uh, like a medium gray. I also decided to make my eyes a very light gray, smoky tone. Angels, I don't know, you would think that they would be shiny. I don't know why, but you would think that they would be, kind of like glass. So I added a lot of highlighter. 
Speaking of shiny, I also wanted to be sparkly, so I added Swarovski crystals all over my body and stuck them on using eyelash glue. I was finally very happy with this look that my vision of an angel has finally come to life after all of these ridiculous amounts of uh, attempts. But because I was filming this for a TikTok, I also thought to myself, you know what? I need to do a devil anyway, so I might as well just film the devil and include it in this video. The devil was very, very simple. I just covered my eyebrows using a washable glue stick, a little bit of concealer, a lot of bit of concealer. I don't know why I say a little bit all the time. It was a decent amount of concealer, powdered my face, painted my head and my face, and they made you look body paint in the color cherry, which we're releasing new colors like very soon, and I'm so excited! I primed my eyes and went in with a dark red eyeshadow. I was mainly just trying to get some sort of like devilish smokiness around my eyes. Again, this was just for a TikTok. It wasn't particularly like, I am making a devil. So my main point of vision for this is that I wanted it to have sharp looking eyes, smoky eyes, and just give devil vibes. I then painted my chest black using the Made You Look body paint in the color ink. Going back in using Red Graftobian Effects Air Airbrush, I decided to also go over my face since I was going to be blending this color up my chest. I wanted them to match. You most definitely could put cherry on the bottom and ink on top and blend the two together, but I wouldn't try putting cherry over ink just because they're gonna blend together and give you a really dark red. I wanted a brighter red and then black, but it wasn't until it was an afterthought that I already had the black on my body, which is why I used an airbrush, just in case you were wondering. I then made my lips black and decided where I wanted my horns to go. and I just order these horns off of Amazon. And after this, we're going into the next series, which I am like, whoo! I am excited about this next series. Like, it is good, good. I'm really excited, actually. Even if nobody else is excited, I'm telling you right now, I am excited. Also, thank you so much to everyone that's subscribing to the channel. I cannot express how much I appreciate you guys. We're having a huge spike in subscribers right now, and for real, so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you so, so, so much for making sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here, thank you so, so much for watching.